To be a student of the Earth, I think it's one of the best treats in all of science because we don't have to go to a laboratory. We live in the laboratory. My roots really are in trying to understand Earth and Earth-like planets using as many tools as I can learn about. Sean Solomon began as a seismologist, researching the Earth's interior structure, when a misunderstood planet captivated him and captured his career. I was an undergraduate at Caltech, and some of the very first images from Mars were played back on the Caltech campus. So it was a front row seat on some of the earliest exploration of our planetary neighbors. I think what was most influential to me was the flyby of the planet Mercury by the Mariner 10 spacecraft. It was the first close-up view we had of the planet Mercury. Earth has multiple tectonic plates. Solomon explained how small one-plate planets like the Moon and Mercury evolved differently. Planet Mercury continues to intrigue him. I'm still in the thick of leading the first spacecraft to orbit the innermost planet, Mercury, that went for more than three decades without any spacecraft visit. As principal investigator, Solomon is leading the MESSENGER mission, hoping to find the missing link to understanding our neighboring planets. The hypothesis was put out in the 1990s at the poles of Mercury. There is water ice, even though planet Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. How on Earth, or how on Mercury, I should say, uh, can you keep ice around for geologically long periods of time? MESSENGER has revealed that Mercury preserves water ice as well as complex organic material. On Earth, these elements are among the building blocks for life itself. So it's one of those delightful chapters in science where we set out to distinguish among current hypotheses, and we ended up rejecting all of them, and finding that we really have to rethink not only how Mercury was assembled, but how all the inner planets formed, including Earth. As the MESSENGER mission is nearing a close, Solomon now serves as director of the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory. We will never get to the end of the road of understanding, and there are opportunities that will continue for our students and our students' students. That is a wonderful aspect of the mysteries of the universe, that uh, there are always more to be revealed, and there is still joy to be left in making new discoveries.